Spot bends. It doesn't break. Although the promise of stability forever is unrealistic, the prospect of long eras of stability, on the order of decades or even centuries, is very realistic and now achievable. Spot is a responsibly designed store value built to support extremely long-lived periods of stability. The system bends safely rather than breaking catastrophically and can forever resume its function without reliance on bailouts. In this video, we'll cover the advantages of Spot's continuous design. Act 1. Synthetic Asset Limitations No asset can be used to synthetically mimic the behavior of a different asset forever. Imagine Alice is trying to produce 100 ounces of synthetic gold using dollars as collateral. She begins with three times the value of the gold in dollars, which means that she has an account that is 300% collateralized. Over time, let's say the value of the gold increases by 1,000%. At this point, the system will no longer have enough dollars to support the mass of synthetic gold it was representing. Unless Alice can invest the dollars backing the gold in such a way that always outpaces the value of the gold she's synthetically representing, the system will eventually break. Now, let's imagine instead the situation is reversed, and Alice uses 100 ounces of gold to produce a synthetic dollar. Just as before, there is no way to guarantee that one asset will always over-collateralize the other, unless the two assets are exactly the same, because markets are unpredictable. Act 2. The Dangers of Discrete Bands Synthetic asset protocols typically have the same notion of a band of healthy operation. This could be a range of collateralization ratios or a range of prices within which a system is healthy. But what happens outside this band? Today's stablecoin designs work very well within a band of healthy operations, but fail catastrophically outside their bands. We think, to be responsible, it is essential to extend the design space of synthetic asset protocols to consider what happens beyond a band of healthy operation, such that they don't catastrophically break. What's special about the SPOT protocol is that it's continuous rather than discrete. This means there are no bands and there are no discrete breaking points in the system. No price point or collateralization ratio can trigger bank runs, cascading liquidations, or other catastrophic outcomes. Act 3. Spot's Continuous Design Spot bends. It doesn't break. Rather than behaving in one way inside of a band of healthy operation and another way outside this band, the Spot system behaves the same way under all conditions. The Spot token is simply a redeemable claim on a basket of assets. This means that a holder of Spot tokens can redeem those Spot tokens for a percentage of Spot's collateral set through a smart contract at any time. Imagine Alice holds 1% of all SPOT tokens. At any time, she can redeem her SPOT tokens for 1% of the assets in SPOT's basket of collateral. If the value of the assets in SPOT's collateral set goes up, the price of SPOT will likely go up, because each SPOT token is redeemable for more value. If the value of the collateral goes down, the price of SPOT will likely go down, because each SPOT token is redeemable for less value. The price of SPOT can be any value, because SPOT is just a redeemable claim on a basket of assets, and no price point can change the behavior or break the system. Proportional redemption is the SPOT token's only mode of operation, and it functions continuously across all price points. Just as the price of Bitcoin can occupy any real number greater than zero without exploding, so can SPOT. Act 4. What makes it stable? the SPOT collateral refinement process. What makes SPOT a stable store of value? You might be wondering, if SPOT is just a proportional claim on a basket of collateral, then isn't it true that Alice's SPOT tokens will only be redeemable for a stable amount of value if the collateral in the basket is stable? That is exactly right. The SPOT token is just one directional claim on a basket of collateral. The system's stability has nothing to do with its token and everything to do with the process of refining the assets in SPOT's collateral set, such that they remain stable. And what makes SPOT degrade gracefully is the progressive way in which refined collateral sets mature into raw base assets over time. Act 5. 
tranching in detail. Let's expand on how collateral assets are refined before entering Spot's collateral set and how they degrade within Spot's collateral set. Imagine you have an underlying asset like Ample. Although the volatility of on-chain assets like Ample can't be magically removed, it can be resegmented into two or more derivative assets with different volatility profiles through a process called tranching. For example, you can take the volatility of Ample and split it into a junior asset that's more exposed to Ample's underlying volatility and a senior asset that is less exposed to Ample's underlying volatility. Then you can use the senior asset as safe collateral and the junior asset for a different purpose. To achieve this, Spot uses an open tranching protocol called Buttonwood Tranche. This protocol accepts as its inputs a balance of collateral, a maturity date, and a list of tranche ratios. The maturity date is a predetermined date after which senior and junior tranches mature back into their underlying collateral. And the tranche ratios are a list of values adding to one that determine the order and seniority of redemptions. Let's illustrate this with an example. Imagine we have a tranche initialized with 30-day maturity and a tranche ratio of 80-20 junior to senior. In this case, all network volatility accrues to the junior tranche tokens until the network contracts by 80% or more, at which point the volatility affects the senior tranche tokens. At the end of the 30-day maturity period, both of these tranche tokens become a redeemable claim on the underlying Apple. If Bob deposits 1,000 CPI adjusted dollars worth of Apple, he will receive 200 senior tranche tokens and 800 junior tranche tokens. Let's say the Apple network doubles in size over the 30-day period. His senior tranche tokens will still be redeemable for 200 CPI adjusted dollars worth of Apple, but his junior tranche tokens will be redeemable for 1,800 CPI adjusted dollars worth of Apple. In this case, the junior tranche tokens realize all of the growth while the senior tranche tokens remain stable. At the end of the maturity period, the total value of Ample between senior and junior tranche tokens is equivalent to what Bob would have owned if he simply held Ample over the 30-day period. Similarly, if the Ample network were to halve in size over the 30-day period, Bob's senior tranche tokens will still be redeemable for $200 worth of Ample, but his junior tranche tokens will be redeemable for 300 Ample. Just as before, the total quantity of Ample between senior and junior tranches is equivalent to what Bob would have owned if he simply held Ample over the 30-day period. Of course, the purpose of splitting the volatility of Ample into two or more derivative assets with different volatility profiles is that you can use these different assets for different purposes. We wouldn't expect Bob to tranche his assets without reason. For example, Bob might sell the senior for near-term liquidity and hold on to the junior for exposure to long-term network growth. Senior tranche tokens can be used as safe assets to store value on-chain without any reliance on liquidation markets, which is pretty amazing. But they can only store value for the maturity period, and they aren't fungible across vintages, because different vintages of tranche tokens mature at different times. To address this, the SPOT protocol bundles senior tranche tokens into a rotating collateral set. SPOT is thus a claim on a basket of rotating senior ample tranche tokens. You can think of Spot as a continuous ample senior tranche. And the price of Spot at any given time will simply reflect the redeemable value of the senior tranches in its collateral set. When senior ample tranche tokens in Spot's collateral set are approaching their maturity date, they are rotated out in exchange for fresh senior ample tranche tokens that mature later. These rotations are upheld by a system of incentives that reward rotators for performing this task of keeping tranches fresh. Act 6. Progressive Degradation What happens when the rotation incentives are not sufficient? In this case, the senior ample tranche tokens progressively mature into raw ample. Since Spot is just a proportionally redeemable claim on a collateral set, as vintages of senior tranches in the collateral set mature, the token becomes redeemable for a combination of senior tranches and raw ample. The more the collateral set matures, the more volatile Spot becomes. But unlike discrete systems, this process does not cause the system to catastrophically break. Instead, 
the spot token just becomes temporarily more volatile as it progressively degrades into its base asset. Similarly, once the rotations resume, as the raw ample is replaced with fresh senior ample tranches, the collateral set progressively becomes fully collateralized by stable assets and gradually resumes stable value storage. Even in the extreme case where the collateral set fully matures and remains mature for an indefinite period of time, the protocol can still stabilize whenever rotations resume at a later date. The system will simply store value at a multiple of the original price based on the value of the collateral set at the time rotations begin anew. Act 7. Putting it all together. Why spot? If rotations can resume at a lower or higher price than they began at, then the system is not guaranteed to preserve stability at the same price forever. How can such a system be valuable? Recall that no synthetic asset can guarantee stability forever. To think long-term is to accept this fact and ask how one might design a long-lived system that can survive black swan market events. Although an asset merely capable of holding short periods of stability would not be very valuable, an asset capable of preserving long epochs of stability on the order of decades or centuries would be very macroeconomically valuable given the timeline of inflation. SPOT is a global resource designed to support extremely long-lived periods of stability. Moreover, it is designed to bend safely rather than breaking catastrophically under extreme market conditions and can forever resume its function at any point in the future without reliance on bailouts. In the long run, SPOT can function as peer-to-peer -peer digital cash, as collateral for decentralized finance protocols, and as a refuge from inflation. To learn about SPOT's rotation incentives, its use of ample as collateral, inflation resistance, tolerance configurations, and more, visit spot.cash.